Welcome to CA Fast Recover for DB2 for ZOS. This is a demonstration of an online rebuild of a non-partitioned index. As a DBA, you are responsible for several database subsystems that are probably running 24-7 with high transaction rates. You don't have the luxury of taking objects offline for extended periods. Consider the following use case. You need to rebuild a non-partitioned index for a very large table. The table space is partitioned by range, with 50 data partitions and billions of rows. You are concerned about the length of time the objects will be unavailable. If you rebuild the index offline, the data will be unavailable for an extended period. In a high availability environment, your only option is to rebuild the index online. CA Fast Recover can help you rebuild the index online at a time of your choosing with maximum availability. Let's see how it's done. For the purposes of this demo, we have executed some DML to simulate online activity. Next, we start the online rebuild of the index using the following syntax. Rebuild index rebuilds the specified index. Share level change keeps the objects in read-write status. Max tasks 4 sets the maximum number of simultaneous read tasks for the rebuild. And max row defer defers the final iteration of log apply processing. The final log apply iteration can only begin after we specify the maximum number of seconds for max row. We will do that in a later step using the alter command. Now, the JCL is submitted for execution. In the job output, the start LRSN for log apply is returned by the Utility Process Manager, or UPM. The shadow vSEM files will now be built by reading the specified table space. The Utility Process Manager establishes a point of consistency at the beginning of the rebuild, which marks the start of the log apply. UPM also updates the DB2 catalog during the vSAM switch phase and helps to prevent running applications from timing out during the rebuild. CA Fast Recover for DB2 for ZOS is now initialized for the rebuild. The index vSAM file is opened. Max tasks was set to 4, so 4 read tasks are run to build the shadow vSAM files. Here is task 1, task 2, task 3, task 4. The rebuild of the index shadow vSAM files was completed successfully. However, we still need to apply the log records to complete the rebuild. This message indicates that log apply processing on the shadow vSAM files has begun. The first iteration of log apply processing completes and took 23 seconds to process 14,000 inserts. Max row was set to defer which means that the final log apply iteration is deferred until we specify a maximum number of seconds for max row. Now we will use the alter command to update the max row value. In this example, we specify 30 seconds for max row and submit the job to alter the value. Returning to the job output, the second, third, and fourth iterations of log apply processing, each completed in 10 seconds. The output confirms that max row was set to 30 seconds. If the log apply iterations take more than 30 seconds, the iterations will continue until the iterations take no more than 30 seconds. This is how CA Fast Recover helps you to limit the amount of time of the final log apply iteration. Because the elapsed time of the latest iterations are less than 30 seconds, the final max row iteration begins. The UPM fast switch starts. The table space and index space are stopped to drain the reader writers. The final log apply processing has completed successfully. The UPM fast switch request is successful. The active vSAMs have been switched with the shadow vSAM files. All indexes have been reorged successfully. 26,000 records were inserted. 
Finally, the old VSAM files are deleted. CA Fast Recover has finished successfully. In this demonstration, we performed an online rebuild of a non partitioned index using CA Fast Recover for DB2 for ZOS. For more information, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there, you can go to the product documentation, visit CA support or CA communities, and see the learning paths.